Hello students, welcome back to our channel Agla Sim Schools. Today we are going to cover NCRT solution for class 7 science chapter 11 that is transportation in animal and plants. So before we begin this exercise, let's discuss a bit about the topic first. Our body has a special transportation system for normal transport system to transport food, gases, minerals, salts, hormones. This process is done by circulatory system. Transport of materials in, is necessary in both plants and animals because every cell needs a regular supply of nutrients and oxygen for releasing energy through respiration. And talking about the circulatory system, it consists of the heart and blood vessels. In humans, blood flow through arteries and veins. And the heart acts as a pumping organ, arteries carry blood from the heart to all the parts of the body. Veins carry blood from all the parts of the body back to the heart. This was just a brief about the things covered in the chapter. Now let's move on to the question and answers. Question 1 says match the structure given in column 1 with the function given in the column 2 which is on your screen now. The answer is first stomata goes with B transpiration. Second xylem is to be matched with D transport of water. Third root hairs help in A absorption of water. And lastly phloem goes with transport of food. Moving on to question two fill in the blanks. First, the blood from the heart is transported to all the parts of the body by the dash. The answer is arteries. Two, hemoglobin is present in cells. Dash. The answer is red blood. Third, arteries and veins are joined by the network of dash capillaries. Fourth, the rhythmic expansion and contraction of the heart is called dash. Heartbeat. Fifth, the main excretory product in the human beings is dash, urea. Sixth, sweat contains water and dash, salt. Seventh, kidneys eliminate the waste materials in the liquid form called dash. The answer is urine. Eighth, water reaches great heights in the trees because of the suction pull caused by dash. Transpiration. Coming on to our question number three, that is, choose the correct option. A. In plants, water is transported through first xylem, second phloem, third stomata, fourth root hair. The answer is first xylem. B. Water absorption through roots can be increased by keeping the plants first in the shade, second in dim light, third under the fan, fourth, covered with a polythene bag. The answer here is third, under the fan. Our next question, that is question four, it says, why is the transport of materials necessary in the plant or in an animal? Answer is, we all know in both plants and animals, every cell needs a regular supply of nutrients and oxygen for releasing energy through respiration. Accordingly, the food that we actually eat is broken down into smaller components to be absorbed by the cells. The oxygen that we inhale is also transported to the cells of the body. Lastly, our body also requires a mechanism for constant removal of waste materials from our body. Thus, it is necessary to transport of materials in both plants and animals. Moving to our next question, question 5. What will happen if there are no platelets in the blood? The answer is platelets help in blood clotting. So, if there are no platelets in the blood, then the bloods would not be able to clot. 
Platelets release blood clotting chemicals at the site of injury. These chemicals help forming a clot and prevent further bleeding. Thus, in case if there are no platelets in the blood, prevention of blood loss by the way of clotting will not be possible in case of injury. Now, coming to question 6. What are stomata? Give two functions of stomata. Stomata are tiny pores present on the surface of the leaf. And the main function of stomata are, firstly, helps in exchange of gas. Secondly, evaporation of water from the leaf surface that occurs by the way of stomata. Moving to our next question, that is question 7, which says, does transpiration serve any useful function in the plants? Explain. Yes. It's true because transpiration is mainly responsible for the loss of water that was observed by the plants and this is an important function for the plants as it helps in movement of water from the roots to the top of the tree. So we can say transpiration does serve an important function in plants. Now question 8 which says what are the components of blood? The answer is, the main components of bloods are red blood cells, RBCs. The most abundant cells in the blood is red blood cells. These cells contain a red pigment called hemoglobin. Hemoglobin is responsible for carrying oxygen and transport it to the, all the parts of the body. Second, white blood cells. WBCs. WBCs are the colorless cells without hemoglobin. They fight against infection and protect the body from germs and bacteria. Third, platelets. Platelets are the smallest cells in the body. The main function of the platelets is to prevent bleeding. Moving forward to question 9 which says, why is blood needed by all the parts of the body? The answer is blood is needed by all the parts of the body because it is an important element of the transport system of our body. The blood actually performs few important functions that makes it of immense use. First, it transports oxygen from the lungs to all the parts of the body cells. Second, it carries carbon dioxide, a waste product, back to the lungs so that it can be exhaled. Third, it transmits heat, thus regulating the body temperature. Fourth, and lastly, fights off against disease and infections. Now, moving to question 10. What makes the blood look red? This is because of an important element present in the blood. And if I just give you a hint, you can easily guess this answer. The answer is the red color is due to the presence of red colored pigment called hemoglobin in the red blood cells, RBCs. This makes our blood color appear red in color. Now, moving to question 11 in which we have to describe the function of the heart. The answer is the human heart is divided into four chambers. The upper two chambers are called the right and the left atrium. And the lower two chambers are called the right and the left ventricles. Right atrium receives carbon dioxide rich blood from the body. The blood from the right atrium enters to the right ventricle which contracts and pumps the blood to the lungs. On the other hand, the oxygen rich blood from the lungs return to the left atrium. From the left atrium blood enters left ventricle. Left ventricle contracts and pumps the blood to all the parts of the body. Hence, the rhythmic contraction and expansion of various chambers of the heart maintains the transport of oxygen to all the parts of the body. Accordingly, we can make out that the main function of the heart includes first, circulation of oxygen rich blood throughout the body by the pumping, second, receiving oxygenated blood from the lungs 
थर्ड पंपिंग बैक द ब्लड कैरिंग कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड टू द लंग्स क्वेश्चन ट्वेल्व दैट सेज वाई इज इट नेसेसरी टू एक्सक्रीट वेस्ट प्रोडक्ट द आंसर इज वी ऑल नो बाई वेस्ट वी मीन इन रिक्वायर प्रोडक्ट दैट मे बी because of its nature need use or maybe due to any reason similarly a body does need to excrete similar waste products that may are not required which may be because of its toxic nature and all the cells of our body produce waste products so it is very much necessary to excrete these waste products and this process of removing the waste products produced in the cells of the living organism is called excretion and now the last question that is draw a diagram of human excretory system and label the various parts so here we have the label diagram just draw it and present it well so this is all from this chapter transportation in animal and plants in case if you have any doubts related to this question so discussed feel free to get back to us by writing in the comment section below and for other academic support keep browsing aglasm.com and yes please don't forget to like share this video do subscribe to our channel to receive instant notification other similar videos thank you bye bye